Good morning, Bulldogs. Hope you had a great weekend. Please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. So need to know items. Uh, first of all, a uh, little reminder, as part of our opening plan back in September, and it's been the case all year, um, when we dismiss to the next block, the next period, you're supposed to go directly to that class and that location for your next block. Um, if you need to use the bathroom, you're supposed to go to class first and then ask to use the bathroom then. So there really shouldn't be anyone using bathrooms. This is emergency in between blocks. Uh, we've had a a small percentage of students that have been uh, demonstrating some inappropriate behavior between classes. We're cracking down on that. And we've had a number of students who have been suspended um, because of that behavior. But just know that if you need to go to the bathroom, go to class first, check in, and the teacher will give you appropriate time to go once you get to class and check in. Uh, but there should not be uh, crowds of students going to the bathroom in between classes. Another need to know, um, we've been doing a great job all year, and we're in the last home stretch here. Uh, there's only five more weeks of school, 25 school days. Um, last day for 7-12, grade 7-12 will be Tuesday the 15th. Uh, seniors, you'll have a couple trips planned on those last Monday and Tuesday, the 14th and 15th. Uh, sixth grade, you have uh, three more days after that day, so you go a little bit longer. Um, but we are planning a, a special trip for you guys, but more to come on that. Those of you that pass the 15th that will need to come back are those that are taking uh, some of the courses that are required to take the Regents exam here in the spring. Um, those are the ones listed right there. So if you're 11th grader taking English DLA right now, uh, your Regents exam will be on Thursday the 17th. Uh, if you're taking Spanish or French one or three and you're looking to take the check checkpoint either A or B, that'll be on Monday the 21st. Uh, the living environment, now these are if you're in these courses right now this semester. Those that were in these courses in the fall semester, uh, you're exempt from the, the Regents. And taking the Regents here in the spring, it's not gonna hurt you at all. So whatever you get on it can only help you. And that's why we're persuading everyone to take this. So living environment, uh, your readings exam will be on Tuesday the 22nd. And then algebra one, you're on Wednesday the 23rd. And then earth science, you're on Thursday, uh, June 24th. Senior fun night will be on that Friday the 25th and graduation will be on the 26th. Uh, seniors, a lot of questions about graduation. Uh, more will come on all this information. I just wanna make sure I got a little bit of this out now. We'll have a more detailed uh, calendar coming out soon, but graduation will look similar to what it did last year. We'll have a ceremony for students only and a few staff members in the courtyard, and then we'll have each senior will come through with their families to, to receive their diploma uh, during the course of the day sometime after 10 a.m., and you'll have sign-up times for that. So we'll run a similar format uh, that we did last year on graduation, but like I said, more to come on that. <clears throat> Last week's Teen Truth uh, presentation was tremendous. I know that the student leaders that were working uh, with Teen Truth afterwards uh, made an amazing list of things they'd like to see implemented here in the building. And these things were all great ideas. You guys did a tremendous job working on this list. Uh, this list has been shared with teachers and counselors and will be uh, taken into consideration and we'll be trying to put as many of these things into play as we can moving forward. I hope you had a chance last week uh, to thank your teachers. It was Teacher Appreciation Week. If you didn't, um, please take the time to thank them this week and today. Uh, your teachers here at Livonia um, have gone above and beyond any teachers in New York State. Um, this has been, for our teachers, the toughest year of their career. Um, and they have worked hard to provide you instruction five days a week. Um, in the, coming back in the heart of the pandemic, uh, with all the unknowns that surrounded us, with the pandemic. Uh, they weren't vaccinated at the time. They came back here and provided instruction for you guys five days a week. And not just instruction in person, but also remote. And they did the blended learning model where they taught those of you that were here and those of you that were home. Uh, they had to redesign the curriculum uh, to make it digital and to have their Google Classrooms up and running. And, and they just did an amazing job. And they did, and they've been pushing hard throughout the year to help you guys to be successful. And they're still pushing with you guys now, helping you to be successful here at the end of the year. So please take the time uh, to reach out to them this week and make sure you thank them for all the great things they've done for you guys this year, because uh, uh, you wouldn't be where you are today without them. And we'll leave you with a quote. <clears throat> Teachers affect eternity. 
No one can tell where their influence stops. So have a good day, Bulldogs. Stay strong.